Hi, welcome back. Today is about Easter. It's about peeps. Peeps, 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 and more peeps. Pour a drink. I got these cute little cups at CVS on sale too. Here's the weird thing. Inside the cups, how radioactive and frightening does this look? Am I going to turn into a giant peep that will destroy the whole city? Possibly. These cups had this peeps marshmallow flavored lemonade mix in them and I went I mixed up one. I have not tasted this. I forced myself to not try it even when I mixed it. You will get my first reaction on Peeps flavored lemonade mix. First impression, I mean it looks like a pretty color. Why am I thinking right off this is going to need rum? What in the marshmallow bunny? My first impression, if someone told me this is lemonade, I'd go, that's not lemonade. It doesn't taste like peeps and it doesn't taste like lemonade. I'm sorry, I said it, there I said it. You know, I'm always honest. It doesn't taste like either. I don't know what this tastes like, y'all. I do not know. What is this? It needs rum. Okay, that's that. I got the Peeps X Hip Dot set. I got really cute little sponges, the beauty blenders, and they're like little peep shaped. And no, I didn't use them because they're too cute. This is the Hip Dot X Peeps Express Your Peepsonality. A lot of people didn't love this palette. I love it. I And I don't even like colors like this normally, but I think this is really cute. So here's the palette. We're going to be doing two different color Peeps eye looks today. We're continuing Spring Goth today. We are in phase one. My face has been primed, primed beyond an inch of my skin's life. I got all the e.l.f. putty primers. I used the matte putty primer on my nose and my t-zone. I did exactly what they recommended. I used the luminous putty primer on my cheekbones. I used the poreless putty primer on my nose. And I used the putty eye primer. That's the white that you see. The reason I packed it on and did so much white is I am very pale and these are very light colors so I wanted to start with a very white base. I use Winky Lux White Tea Tinted Veil which as you know if you've watched before this is one of my favorite favorite foundations. This is a tea infused tinted moisturizer. Lightweight formula provides a sheer hint of color and protection from UV rays with broad spectrum SPF 30. I love this. It might look like I have a full coverage foundation on. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe you're like oh girl put on full coverage. No I don't. This is just a tinted moisturizer veil. Highly recommend this. I go back to this every time. This is shade light because I'm pale as an egg. We're going to get right into this eye look. What are we going to do? I don't know. I have no clue. Our colors are bunny, cute, marshmallow, sugar-coated, chick, and sweet. I don't do a lot of washes of color. This could be a flaming disaster. Stay tuned. I, I usually don't do things like this. I'm going to go in with bunny first. Bunny is this nice pink color. Whoa. Um, hi, pigment. Look at this. Wow. Look at that already. One swipe. A lot of fallout in the pan, but there's literally none under my eye. But that might also be, I highly recommend e.l.f. Putty Primer. Very inexpensive. Get it at the drugstore. I got mine at Ulta. I'm going to do pink on this eye, yellow on this eye with a blue. I'm going to use every color because there's not that many colors in this, to be honest. So we can use all the colors. These are really highly pigmented guys look at that that's one swipe like i just got it in there bonk one swipe done i'm loving this i'm loving this we are gonna go right in with marshmallow so i did the two mats in the crease this marshmallow has a really pretty almost looks kind of like a gold there it is on my hand this is gonna be a fun little eye look for me i could have done a whole cut crease thing with this i'm not gonna marshmallow shade all over my lid I'm trying it with the brush first, just because I wanna. Well, that's pretty. Let's start with my finger, just out of curiosity. I wanna see how much I can pack on here. It deepens up. It's not quite as shiny. I wish they had one super duper, really metallic-y shade in here. There we go, that's what I was going for. I wish they had a lighter metallic-y. Maybe instead of doing this one, if they would've done like a white, that would've been really cool. I, just me, I said to each his or her own. I'm not even gonna do the brush on this side. I think I'm gonna go right in with my finger. With sweet. Okay, this is a true yellow. 
It seems like it's maybe gonna be buildable. These colors are just really cute though. I know this is like a you love it or you hate it kind of color story. And if you know me, this is not my cup of peeps. You just saw how little work I put into this and look at how good this looks. We're gonna do a little bit of sugar coated along here. This is what I was worried about with sugar coated. It really doesn't have a lot of tone to it on my skin because I'm so pale. So it's this color. Basically it's like I'm putting the color of my skin on my eyes. It's there, it's nice. Not really what I wanted to do. It'll look better on this side, I think. I, I'm not gonna lie, I love this. I am loving what's going on here today. One of my issues is what do you do in this area? What do you do in an inner eye with this? I haven't talked about these yet. These are DJ's Unique Boutique and I know this is a hip dot thing, but this is the kind of color I wish they would have put in this palette. If they would have put this in here instead of that, that would have been excellent. I don't hate this palette. That is a nice shade, but it needs something for the inner eye. Something, something lighter. If you want to really bring out like this area, we need something to do that. This DJ's is a duochrome. It's got a super duper pink shift in it. Kind of hoping. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted. That's what they needed in here. And I will link the colors below of what I'm using in the DJ's Unique Boutique. They don't have any anything super, super metallic. See now, I need something for here. That's what's bothering me about this palette is what do I put there? And I'm also trying to figure out what to do with this blue. Is it just me or do you look at this and then you go, where does this blue go? I'm gonna do a little swatch of it on my hand. It is a really pretty blue. I love this blue. It's just, I'm gonna put some in the crease here. Okay, that's pretty because with this pink, it's okay. Know your color wheel. Blue and red makes what color, kids? Purple. Purple. So I just got a more purple in the, that's a beautiful purple in the crease. Marshmallow and bunny, you get this really gorgeous purple. Look at that. Oh, that is, I like that a lot. Let's see what happens if we put, what do you get when you mix yellow and blue? Do, 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 do. You should know this, but I'm curious if it's going to come out what I think it is. Yellow and blue is green, and it's a really interesting green I have going on on this eye. I'm kind of taking back this whole blue thing. But if you don't know the color wheel, if you're new to makeup and you don't know this stuff, would you not know what to do with that blue? I made purple on this eye, and I made green on this eye in the crease, and I'm going to keep adding to this because I'm really liking this. I want to bring it up a little bit more. I am actually gonna use Sweet, since I don't have like a light metallic, I'm gonna go under my brow with this and then bring it down up here. Sugar Coated is a nice transition shade. Blends everything together really nicely. Okay, I kinda like it. Does anybody use cake eyeliners out there? I am in love with them. I knew this color was gonna be perfect. As soon as I saw this palette and got it on, there we go. I do have an eyeliner cake, it's called Anniversary Cake, and it's a gold. I think I'm gonna do that on this eye. It still tastes weird. The key with this cake eyeliner is you just wanna get it to the right consistency. It's still a little watery, be patient with it. And there we have the two eye looks with two OMFG liquid cake eyeliners and this. I think these were made to go together personally, and they're both indie brands that I love. You know, I love the indies. I'm gonna pop some lashes on. So let me pop these on. Okay. I am back. I have put on the Carry Lashes from Hellbites Beauty. Thank you again, Slayer Queen, for recommending this company. And yes, I did order the pink lashes weeks ago because I knew I would be reviewing this, so. Here we go. I wanted to use the Hip Dot face palette since I was using the eyes. This little guy here, this is the bronzer I used. Love it, but when it got to me, it was smashed. So I did have to repress it and I did a sloppy ass job. This is the blush I'm wearing and this is the highlighter and this is the Hip Dot Perfect Face Palette. So that's what I'm wearing for blusher, highlight, and bronzer. What's really weird, this tastes really bizarre, but I can't stop drinking it. What is wrong with me? I have some new lip colors. These are from Menagerie. Starfish, Mako, and Hook, Line, and Sinker. Now you may say, go ahead and do the blue, but I don't want to take away from the eyes too much. 
any of these would work with this palette, to be totally honest, but I'm kind of, I'm leaning towards hook, line, and sinker because I think I want to do more of a pink. This is my first time using the Menagerie lip color. Oh, nice doe foot. You know what? I'm going to do a lip liner. So I am lined with the Charlotte Tilbury Super Size Me lip liner, and we are going to do hook, line, and sinker Menagerie Cosmetics. I hope this color works with this. Wow, I love this lip color. Sissiette London, Everyday Vacay. I'm using it up. I don't love it because it smells like coconut and I'm not a fan of coconut scent. I mean, it's okay. I don't hate coconut scent. It's just not one of my favorites. Done. And a little bit of lip gloss. You know, I wasn't sure I liked this because it's not a lot. By the way, I have people ask me if I got lip fillers ever. I never have. These are my lips, y'all. I just highlighted right in the middle. I have thought about getting fillers, but could you imagine? It might look really weird. I don't know. So here we go. I'll be right back and we'll show you the completely finished look. I have more surprises in store so far. I would say for a palette that a lot of people didn't really talk about a lot, but I think a lot of people, it's like peeps, you love them or you hate them. Unfortunately, you shouldn't, let me just say this. It doesn't matter if you like peeps or not. I don't care if you like marshmallow or not. I really don't. The thing is, this is a really great palette. Look at the color payoff. You saw when I did one swoop, one swoop, boom. This is the first palette I've used in a long time that has had zero fallout under my eyes. Very, very little with Chick. Just a little bit in here when I did kind of in this inner corner, but it was so minor and I was shocked that I got no fallout from these. The blue had no fallout whatsoever. Highly recommend this palette. Yeah, it's peeps. You might not like peeps. I don't care. I'll be right back. And I'm back with the finished look, with the peeps bunny, with the nails. Aren't these cute? I could never keep these on. So do we love, do we love, we love. What is that? I can't, I can't do the nails thing. I love this palette. There we go, one last time. Do I love it? Would I buy it again? Absolutely, freaking lutely I really like this. I love the colors in it. I will use this again for sure. This was an easy palette. You're not overwhelmed with shades. And once you figure out that, hey, I can use that blue and make purple. Hey, I can use that blue and make green. Oh my God. That's it. Happy Easter, everybody. The Hip.x Peep sponges and the palette. Lashes by Hellbites Beauty. I'll put the list below of everything. Please like, like, subscribe. If you want more spring goth, hip dot peeps, good stuff. Check them out. I love hip dot. I'll be doing a full line review of hip dot soon. I will be doing a collab with someone with hip dot soon. Come back for that. We're gonna sit here and my peeps doesn't have a mouth. We're gonna sit here and finish our weird peeps lemonade. We'll do our final picture and fade out. And fade. Bye. See you in the next one. I love you. Happy Easter.